Hi, welcome to the sixth video of the PLC course series. In this video, you will learn the fundamentals of the ladder diagram. Ladder logic is the most common language to program a PLC. This is a graphical language, and it is very similar to the classic relay logic circuit diagram. A ladder diagram consists of a power rail and rungs, so this diagram looks like a ladder, that's why we called it a ladder diagram or ladder logic. Each rung has input instructions on its left side and output instructions on the right side. As you already have learned in previous videos that a PLC has input modules, output modules, and a CPU and memory unit. Input module connected to input devices, each input has a unique name or address. This unique address is used in ladder logic instructions to address a specific input. Similarly, the output module is connected to output devices and each output also has a unique address. And the memory unit stores the program in it. CPU process input signals according to the stored program and gives output through the output module. Let's learn how to design a ladder logic program. First of all, let's learn basic bit logic instructions. Bit logic instructions are some of the most used instructions in PLC programming. These instructions are consisting of zero or one form. That's why bit instructions are also called Boolean or bool instructions. Once we explain in detail the instructions, then we will have a look at how we can implement and use those instructions in real life applications. The following is a list of the basic instructions. XIC examine if closed or normally open contact. XIO examine if open or normally close contact. OT output energize or coil. Positive edge detection and negative edge detection. Memory coil. XIC examine if closed or normally open contact. The XIC instruction looks and operates like a normally open relay contact. There is a memory bit associated with each XIC instruction that is linked to the status of an input device or internal condition. This XIC instruction asks the processor of the PLC to examine if the contact is closed, which is the same as saying that power is now able to flow through this normally open contact. XIO examine if open or normally close contact. The XIO instruction looks and operates like a normally closed relay contact. There is a memory bit associated with each XIO instruction that is linked to the status of an input device or internal condition. This XIO instruction asks the processor of the PLC to examine if the contact is open. If the contact is closed, power would flow through to the next contact or output. If it changes state and becomes open, the power will no longer flow through. OT output energize or coil. The OTE instruction is slightly different from the others in that it looks and operates like a relay coil and is associated with a memory bit. This type of instruction signals the PLC to turn on or turn off the output. Positive edge detection and negative edge detection. As we know, there are two positions in a digital signal, 0 and 1. When the signal goes 0 to 1 that edge is called the rising edge. And when the signal goes 1 to 0, that edge is called a falling edge. As per the name of these contacts, these contacts detect these edges. Positive edge detection contact activates on the rising edge of a digital signal and negative edge detection contact activates on the falling edge of a digital signal. Memory coil. A memory coil is similar to an output coil, but it has a built-in memory to set and reset coil. This coil memorizes the last input signal and its state does not change until the next input signal receives to change its state. That is also similar to the latch and unlatch function. This coil has two terminals named S and R, where S means set and R means reset. If we apply a pulse at the S terminal, this coil is turned on and keeps on even if the input pulse is removed. And coil will just be turned off when we apply a pulse at the R terminal. I hope you have understood the bit logic functions of a PLC very well. We can make many more logical functions just by using these instructions. 
We will explain more functions in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel so don't miss my new videos. Goodbye.